Okay, Tony, uh, beautiful outside today yeah. again. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to beat weather like this. Obviously, this is why we all live here. We all love living here. And today we get more of it. I want to show you the uh, weather outside right now, which does feature some cloudiness. Maybe compared to this time yesterday, I woke up to bright, sunny skies. Use kind of the quad box, and you can see uh, just about everywhere from downtown Tampa to Clearwater Beach, USF Marine Science Camp in St. Pete and St. Pete Beach. We do have some clouds hanging with us, but no problem. No rain expected today and that's really uh, the benefit of high pressure that's going to really set up shop here nearby and keep our weather looking fabulous all week. So here's what you're dressing for when you step outside this morning, mainly 50s, if, especially if you live in Hillsborough County, you live across the bay into Pinellas and you're generally low 60s, exception up Palm Harbor right now, it's 56. And all of Pasco, Hernando and Citrus County are somewhere in the 50s too. Numbers do move fast today. The air is dry, so you start out cool, you get that nice refreshing morning, but you also get a warm afternoon too. Yesterday highs in the low 70s, we knew this was going to be a temporary cool down. We're not going to do just 70s today. I think a lot of us will be reaching for the 80s. But in the meantime, enjoy a nice, beautiful open window weather for Lakeland. It's 59 degrees. Morning walk feels fantastic. So your Tampa Skycast today shows you what you can expect. Nice mix of sun and clouds will take us through midday. Temperatures, again, not 50s for long. By midday, we're already talking about 77 degrees. We warm up fast. Wind's not going to be as much of a problem as they were yesterday, too. And then we keep climbing. We'll be approaching 80 degrees if you live inland, guaranteed. Uh, those winds will start to shift out of the west later on today. But just enjoyable weather for whatever you've got going on. Maybe hanging out poolside. So a lot of folks out there yesterday uh, just enjoy it. Futurecast will keep our weather quiet. I think for folks heading out on the East Coast, Daytona 500, weather's really, really nice. I mean, you can't rule out the chance for a stray shower just briefly with an onshore wind. But because the winds shift around, I don't anticipate there'll be much of an impact there. And we'll keep that going pretty much as we kick off the week Monday. You see high pressure building in here. That'll allow the winds to settle down. But we also know high pressure promotes sinking air. That sinking air resists rising air motion, which means yeah, not a chance of rain in sight. At the beaches, how about this? Lovely stuff. We're talking mid to upper 70s. This is today. And tomorrow, too, you get President's Day off. I anticipate a lot of folks will be crowding the beaches. Uh, so here's what we got going on. Jet stream forecast shows this kind of very west to east pattern, right? This zonal flow, basically cold air bottle to the north, warm air to the south. Our temperatures next three days are pretty much going to be the same. But then we'll get a surge of warmth from the south and up those temperatures will go. We're going about 10 degrees above average or even more by the middle of the week with temperatures potentially challenging records. East winds are light today. They'll shift off sh uh, onshore, I should say, later today, uh, but still still very uh, nice and um, friendly for being out there. Temperatures will climb. That's really the main weather story. You don't see any rain on this seven day forecast. Matt.